Okay, this is a super quick and simple tutorial here. I'm just going to show how we can switch between uh, two different characters. Say you had two different characters in the scene, and you wanted to be able to switch between the two. Uh, I've seen this question pop up a lot, so I figured I'd help uh, address this. It's super easy. Obviously, there are a ton of different ways to do anything in Dreams. But for this, one super simple solution is to just use a keyframe. So in here, we'll go ahead and stamp a keyframe. And over here, we'll also stamp a keyframe. And we can go ahead and use these keyframes to switch between the two. So let's say for both of these controller sensors, we'll have a force, no, force possession on, okay? Just by default. So let's use circle. Circle is already bound to depossess for this character, and that's great. So if I press circle, not only will it depossess, we can go in here and turn on force possession, right? So we'll turn that on, and also in here, we'll turn force possession off. Okay, and then over in here, we'll turn force possession off for this one, and in here, we'll just make sure the force possession is on. Okay, so that's bound to circle, and that's bound to circle. So now if we start time, we can see I'm this taller puppet, and if I press circle, the imp switches to the other character. Right, and if I press circle again, it switches back. So let's say you don't like the imp zip, um, depending on your needs, I mean, you could get a global settings variable out and turn off imps altogether, um, so that that way there's never any imp. But say you had a game where you wanted the character to be able to choose a character at some point, right? So let's go ahead and turn force possession off, right? In this case, we want to be able to choose one of these characters to start with. Once we're in, maybe now we don't want the imp showing up. So inside of each of these keyframes, we can just turn that setting off real quick, just like that. And inside this one, we'll go ahead and turn this off. There we go. And that's it. So now we get to switch or choose our character at the beginning. And when we press circle, it switches and the imp doesn't show. So there you go. Like I said, super fast, super simple. I've just seen this question pop up so many times that um, I figured I'd make a video so that if anyone's looking for this in the future, hopefully they'll find it. Anyway, I hope this video helps somebody out there in the future or uh, somebody out there now, if you're watching this now and you found this enjoyable, hope it helped you out. If you're new around here, go ahead and click subscribe. I got a bunch of cool videos coming out pretty soon and I've already released quite a few cool ones. So uh, feel free to take a look, stick around if you like. If not, I hope you find what you're looking for. Have a great day. Take care.